In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where x input 1 underscore 3 is missing from your computer. So if you're getting this error message where you have a missing DLL file, then there's actually a couple of things we can do to go and solve this. So first step is you just need to open up an internet browser and we're going to type in DirectX Web Installer and press enter. Now click on the top website, which is DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer. And then you need to go and press this download button. Once it's finished downloading, open up the application, agree to the terms and conditions and press next. Uncheck the box next to install the Bing bar and press next. Now just wait while that installs these important components to your computer and you can press finish. Now the second step is to head back over to an internet browser and type in x input one underscore three dot dll download and press enter click on the top website which is dll underscore files dot com and then scroll down to the bottom and you'll need to install either the 64 or 32 bit version of this file now this depends on what version of windows you have so you'll either have a 32 bit version or a 64 bit version if you're not sure which version of windows you have just head over to the start menu and search for system information and click on the system information panel now next to system type you'll either see x64 or x32 so mine's a 64-bit computer so i need to download the 64-bit file so i'm just going to scroll down until i see 64 which is this one here and go and press download then you'll need to wait a couple of seconds while this downloads the file to your computer if the download doesn't start straight away you can just click on this download button once it's finished downloading open up the folder and then you'll need to right click on this zip file and click on extract all and click on extract now we're going to right click on this x input file and click on copy then click on your c drive in the left hand panel double click on windows scroll down until you see a folder called system32 and double click on this then all you need to do is right click somewhere in this white space and go and paste in the file if the file already exists you can just click replace the file in the destination and that's it guys if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next